also my brothers with regards to the benefits of salat ala nabi is mentioned that you're passing the pul sirat the the bridge it'll become easy somewhat because the durood the salat it will help you by reading durood you will become closer to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and also this durood it purifies the heart there is a narration narrated by Abu Bakr radiyallahu anhu that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said As-salatu alayya noorun fil qalb Durood upon me it is light, it is noor in the heart it is not only noor in the heart it is noor fil qabr in the grave as well and wa noorun ala sirat it is noor in the bridge whilst you're crossing the bridge وَهِيَ أَمْحَقُ لِلذُّنُوبِ مِنَ الْمَاءِ الْبَارِدْ لِلنَّارِ And it is so effective in deleting sins like water is effective in putting an end to fire. Also my brothers, we should try our best to read durood in abundance upon the Prophet There is a beautiful narration in Tirmidhi. Ubay bin Kaab, he says, Ya Rasulullah, inni uksiru salata alayka, fakam aj'alu laka min salati. He says that I read durood upon you, but how much durood shall I send upon you? Salutations, peace, blessings, salat, how much shall I send upon you? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, ma shi'ta, it's up to you. So then he says, a rubu'ah, shall I, a fourth? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, مَا شِئْتَ فَإِنْ زِدْتَ فَهُوَ خَيْرُ لَكَ So he says, out of my readings, my dhikr, is, is a fourth okay? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it's up to you, but if you increase, it is better for you. So then he says, قُلْتُ النِّصْف I said, what about half? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the same. And then he says, فَالثُلُثَيْنِ What about three quarters? And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said the same, it's up to you, but if you increase, it's better for you. Then he goes on to say that, is that قُلْتُ أَجْعَلُ لَكَ الصَّلَاةِ كُلَّهَا Out of my readings, I'm going to make all my readings, my dhikr, just I'm going to just send durood upon you. And then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that if you do this, إِذَنْ تُكْفَى هَمُّكْ وَيُغْفَرُ لَكَ ذَنْبُكْ If you do this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will sort out all your worries and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will forgive your sins as well so we should make this uh, you know take our time and try our best to send durood upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in abundance it's mentioned with regards to Imam Malik he used to have like a, a set number of times every night he used to send durood upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and then what happened? Ma bittu, he says, Ma bittu laylatan illa raitu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, Kabhi bhi ek raat nahi bitti, magar maine Nabi Akreem ki ziyarat ki hai. He says, never, ever, any night didn't pass by in which I did not get to see the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And my brothers, with regards to durood sharif, Salat ala nabi Allah says, Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Allah, He's saying that verily Allah and His angels. So, malaikatahu, the who, the dhamir, the pronoun is referred to Allah. So, malaikatahu, Allah's angels. So, the scholars they say that this means all the angels. Because no angel can be referred to as not belonging to Allah. So there's so many millions of angels. They've got these different, different responsibilities and duties. But they all send durood upon the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then look, Allah, He commands us to read salah. He commands us to do hajj, to give zakah, to fast. But never ever did He say that I'm doing this and you do this as well. But it's only with Durood uh, Sharif, this is a unique command. Now last three minutes, I want to share with you one last hadith in which we could see 
the virtues of reading durood upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is narrated by Abdullah bin Amr. He says, "Inna li Adam alayhi salam min Allahi mawqifun fi fasah min al arsh." Allah subhanahu wa taala will give Adam alayhi salam a place near the arsh. Alayhi sawban akhdaran. He will have green clothes. Ka'annahu nakhlatun sahukun. He will be tall like a date tree. And why? Yanzuru ila man yantaliqu bihi min waladihi ila al jannah. He will be looking from among his awlad who is going towards Jannah, who is being taken towards Jahannam. فَبَيْنَا آدَمُ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ عَلَىٰ ذَلِكْ إِذْ نَظَرَ إِلَىٰ رَجُلٍ مِّنْ أُمَّةِ مُحَمَّدٍ يَنْتَلِقُ بِهِ إِلَىٰ النَّارِ He'll see a follower of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The angels are taking him towards Jahannam. فَيُنَادِي آدَمْ يَا أَحْمَدْ يَا أَحْمَدْ So he'll call the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet will hear his name and he will say, لَبَّيْكْ يَا أَبَ الْبَشَرْ O oh, the father of humans, I am present. So then Adam Islam will say that, look, this is your ummati, your follower. He's being taken towards Jahannam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he will call the angels, but they will say, we just obey the commands of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. We do not disobey Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he will then hold his blessed beard with his left hand. And وَاسْتَقْبَلَ الْعَرْشَ بِوَجْهِهِ He will turn his blessed face towards the arsh and he will say فَيَقُولْ رَبِّي أَلَيْسَ قَدْ وَعِدْتَنِي أَلَّا تُخْزِينِي فِي أُمَّتِي O Allah, did you not promise me that you will not humiliate me with regards to my ummah? فَيَأْتِ النِّدَاءُ مِنْ عِنْدِ الْعَرْشِ There will be a call from the arsh and what will this call be? أَتِيعُوا مُحَمَّدًا O oh, angels, listen and obey Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَرُدُّوا هَذَا الْعَبْدَ إِلَى الْمَقَامِ Take this man back to his place. Again, his deeds will be weighed and sadly his sins will outweigh his deeds. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will get this paper from his pocket, small like a fingertip, as big as his fingertip. And he will place this paper in his good deeds, where his, his good deeds are. And what will happen is his good deeds will outweigh his sins. So then the angels, they'll say, oh, you are successful and your forefathers are successful. But when it'll be said that take him towards Jannah, he will say, wait. Ya Rusula Rabbi Qifu. Emere Rabke Numaindo. Tadja, wait. As'alu hadha al-abd al-kareem ala Allah. Let me ask this person who he is. Be a be anta wa ummi. May my father and mother be sacrificed upon you. Ma ahsana wajhak wa ahsana khalqa. How beautiful are you and how good are your akhlaq? Faman anta? Who are you? Faqad aqaltani ithrati wa rahimta ibrati. You've deleted my sins. You've got rid of my worries. And this is when the reply will be Fayaqul, ana nabiyuka Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I am your Nabi Muhammad. Wa hadihi salawatuka allati kunta tusalli alayya wa qad wafaituka ahwaja ma takunu ilayha. This is the durood you sent upon me and it has benefited you when you were in dire need of it. So my brothers, we should read durood, many benefits. Last hadith. Aktiru mina salati alayya yawm al-jumu'ah fa inna salatakum ma'roodatun alayya. That someone who you read durood upon me in abundance because this durood is sent upon me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from the lovers of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Give us the ability to act upon what has been said. Adhan has been called out to the brothers. Ahamit of the sunnah. Sikul of your sunnah.